Hello, boys and girls, men, women, cats, and dogs. This review, we're looking at Flotilla, turn-based strategy game. You've already seen the review, and so we're discussing it with Ravenite. Hello, Ravenite. Hello. Hello there. So, um, you've seen the review, Ravenite. What do you think of the game yourself? Well, um, initial appearance for me was that I'm going to be frustrated out of my brain. Uh, especially in the single player mode, but after a couple of tries, I did admit that I was quite addicted to it. Um, over to you. Okay. Um, well, what do you mean frustrated? Like, because of the difficulty? Difficulty, the fact that, you know, most of my RPG uh, strategies that I'm used to are on flat ground and not in a 3D environment. Uh, the fact that you cannot uh, just shoot it with all you've got, you have to get into the right position to actually make a dent. <laughs> that doesn't sound like you. I thought you've always been the strategy kind of person. Not the yes, but blast away, ask questions later, that's me. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, if it's a bit easier, it's easy. You know, make 20 people, charge in, and five come back, as long as the job's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you'd make a good general, Adam. Ah, David, I... <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so, um... Okay, you've also, again, you've seen a review. Um, anything you want to elaborate on, anything I might miss that you want to mention? Well, I'd like to focus more on the two-player mode, whether it's cooperative or versus. All right? um, I did enjoy it a lot when I had enjoy when we played the game cooperatively, okay? um, especially when we could uh, do our own strategies and then put them together. All right? The versus in itself, I enjoyed it more because then suddenly it's my mind versus your mind. Of course you didn't enjoy it, you won. Of course, especially when I tried to smash my ship into yours. Yeah, whatever. I might have only had two ships, but I got half your army, so there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, truth be told, I did enjoy it. Usually you know me, I don't like versus games. All right? yeah, well, it's, it's not really, it wasn't really that competitive. Um, I don't think the game's nature feels very competitive, um, bec probably because of the silliness of it. So you just sort of just want to have fun. You know, you, you're not out there to just win, like in most games. It's not the silliness. It's really the spanner floating in space music that doesn't really give it that spanner floating aggressive... In space. That's an interesting... You know what? You're right. Now that I, if you listen to it, does that does picture that. Very good point. Um, but is that not silliness? Yeah, but compared to the rest, like, okay, you have animal creatures. I don't care. I mean, it's space. I mean, you could have blobs for all I care. All right? But... Other than that, it's really the music that kind of dissolves you from the game itself. You cannot really be this macho pirate or whatever, because it just does not compute, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Maybe you can help me decide. Would you say it's a good thing or a bad thing? I have no clue. <laughs> I mean, it kind of mellows so it out. So you're as stumped as I am, then. It, it, it yes. could go either way. Fair the, enough. The, the one thing I do have a complaint about is with the two player the controls all right i'm sure you saw on my first attempts all right i was quite envious of your controls your mouse and keyboard was easy as pie me with the bloody controller i have no clue what the hell i was doing yeah right? but on the bright side because it doesn't time you you get to um it's all turn based anyway so it doesn't really matter if it takes you so long to uh to, to True. pull out your move, it's still it's still setting our minds against each other, not our controls. True, which I'm very very grateful for. But now you've actually reminded me of something else, because it's split screen in a versus game. There could be one tiny problem. Yeah, I was stopping... looking at your screen. If you were cheating, you know that's no one no no thing, no. no. I'm not saying you were. I'm not saying I was. But you, what's stopping you from actually looking over or even just catching a glimpse of what you're trying to do? Right. Yeah, that's true. But I think um, because of its it's the way it's turn based, but you're doing your moves at the same time, you're sort of focusing on your you know on your moves too much to look at the other one. I mean, you could pause what you're doing to stare, but it's a lot less obvious than if it was like literally turn based, where you do yours, wait, he does his, etc. Yeah, I suppose so. But I mean, it's not enough to actually get me to hate the game. I mean, I still enjoyed it. I had fun with it. All right, and I will definitely play it again. Great, I need that rematch, you bastard. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay, um, is there anything left to say? Uh, what did I want to elaborate on? 
Oh yeah, the uh, the recordings. I completely forgot to mention them in the review. That is definitely a great feature. Um, the real time recordings. You get to watch the match in, so that it kind of stops putting the uh, the pauses in, so it looks like an epic battle. Oh, definitely. Especially when we're trying to figure out where the hell things went wrong. I don't know how many times that we lost a ship and we're thinking, but it was supposed to avoid that. I think mm-hmm. the only time that really happened was uh, with the debris, where we had no idea that debris can kill your ship. Yes, by the way, people who, are play- who might want to play this game, enemy ships debris can destroy your ships. Yep, yeah. and also there were some um, ammunition from some ships that could actually break through armor. Actually, we're still not 100% torp- sure about that. We just... <laughs> but yeah, it, it looks like the Dreadnought... Well, not the Dreadnought, the, yeah, is it Dreadnought? Oh, the big one seems to <laughs> ignore armor. Which is annoying. Yeah, which we had to find out the hard way. But you know, you live and learn. Was it what three times in the same battle? Yep, <laughs> and we still didn't learn. Well, yeah, we lost that battle miserably. <laughs> <sighs> so yep. Uh, you know, I don't think I made it clear in the review either that um, games do last little more than an hour or two. Well, not even two. Um, in normal mode, half an hour easy. Hardcore, you might play up to an hour. Um, so it is a very short-term game. You do play it in bursts. I might not have made it very clear, so I do want to just bring that out. Um, what is your opinion on that, anyway? Well, you're lucky if you can get half an hour's worth on it, because sometimes you play five minutes, if you're lucky, and lose your first fl- uh, first ship, and it die miserably. But... It's the way, even though it's a half an hour main gameplay until you die because of time up, um, you still get to enjoy it because you want to keep seeing what is out there. You want to know what consequences you can get. All right? Oh sure, yeah, the replay value is, is sky high. Space so even. yeah, I mean personally, I would have much much more preferred it if there was a sandbox mode that kept you going. That right? generic mode I talked about in the review, basically. Yeah. Mm. But that's just me. But overall, I'm still not going to fault it for it. I mean, I still played it. I still will play it. And I, it's got me hooked on it. Mm, yeah. Okay, I think we can wrap this up. Um, so, yeah, uh, it costs about €8. Euro. Would you buy it again for that price? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, for what it is worth, I'd definitely buy it. Okay, people. So, fans of strategy looking for something new get this game and check uh, if you want to beat Kane always go from under and charge him he won't expect it dude the only reason you won is because that first move in the very beginning where I sent my it's just the same in single player being turn based and all but it's still fun especially considering the communication communication what the fuck does that mean battle is lost for good. It is unforgiving, but it makes the game a lot more rewarding, and you have to 